Hey everyone, this is Dhruvin and I welcome you all to my new Power BI Embedded step by step series. You are watching the fifth part of this series and in this session we will be talking about different types of authentication mechanism for Power BI Embedded with ASP.NET SDK. So now let's get started. In our earlier session, we have discussed about different common steps that we need to perform in order to get started with Power BI Embedded. In those steps, the first step was to select the proper authentication mechanism. Now, let me talk about the authentication mechanism for app owns data, meaning customer only approach. Now, for app owns data concept, we can perform the authentication either using service principal or using master user. Now, what do we mean by service principal and what do we mean by master user? You will be getting more idea about that into next session. But let me just give you an overview. Now, let's say for an example, you want to embed your Power BI report into your custom application using app own data concept. And if you are using service principal, then what happen here is your registered Power BI application will be authenticated using your service principal meaning you don't need to provide any username and password in order to authenticate that app. Basically, you just need to use app's user principal so your app will be authenticated and the report will be rendered into your page. The second approach is using master user. In master user case is something which is a similar kind of Power BI service account. Basically, that account has the administrator privileges and we are authenticating our app using master users username and password. So in this case, basically we need to provide the username and password in order to perform the authentication and to get the access token. So these are the two different authentication methods. When I'm going to register the app into next step, you will be getting exit idea that how you can create the service principal and how that is useful to us. Till then, this information is enough for understanding. Now, let me talk about the comparison in between the user principal and master user. In case of service principal, it uses the Azure AD app service principal object for the authentication. While in the master user case, it uses user's username and password for Azure AD authentication. Second thing is that this is the recommended approach because it authenticates with the help of client secret or certificate and we do not need to pass any credential. And this is something which is not secure as service principal. The reason is that we need to provide the username and password of the master user. Third thing is that we need to consider one thing. Service principal is something which is not similar like username or password. So it is something that you can't log in with the service principal using Power BI service. It is just an display name of your Azure AD. I am going to talk more about that into next part so you will be getting better idea. So we do not need any pro license activated for our service principal. While in case of master user, user can log in with the same username and password with Power BI service and they should have active Power BI pro license. So this is the main difference in between the authenticating using service principal and master user. Overall, if I conclude the summary, service principal is the recommended and best approach and I personally recommended that approach. While in case of master user, that is also fine. But in case, here you need to provide username and password. During this entire series, I am going to use both of this authentication mechanism in detail. So you will be getting better idea on that part. Right? So hope this is clear for you now. Now, in the next session, we will be talking about how we can register the Power BI application in the Azure AD for Power BI Embedded and how we can start with development process. So this is the another most important topic that we are going to cover during the sixth part of this series. If you have any question related to this topic, you can add your question in the comment section. If you are for the first time to my channel, make sure you hit subscribe and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from my channel. Stay connected with me on Facebook, LinkedIn and Twitter. I am uploading new videos related Power BI, Power Apps, Power Automate, Power Virtual Agents, Teams and SharePoint every day on my YouTube channel. So make sure that you subscribe and don't forget to press the bell notification to never miss any updates from my channel. 
Also, if you wish to receive the daily notification about all my new videos on your WhatsApp number, just click on this link. It will be redirecting you to this particular page. Fill the form and you will be receiving daily notification about all my new videos on your WhatsApp number. Also, if you wish to listen different power platform related podcast, just click on this link. It will be redirecting you to this podcast homepage. From here, you can listen your favorite power platform related podcast on your favorite podcast platform like Google Podcast, Apple Podcast, Spotify and much more. So, this is Thruvin signing off. See you in the next session. Have a great day. Goodbye.